Okay, so the big news for this week is whether we're going to get a trick-or-treat from the Fed. As we saw, the Fed meeting is Wednesday. We'll get the their statement at 2, uh, along with their interest rate decision. And then Powell will come out at 2.30. And again, I think uh, the important uh, factors will be um, what Powell actually says. And I think everyone will dissect his statements to see, you know, uh, do they think that the uh, recent increases in the bond prices has uh, been a, a proxy, a substitute for their rate hike? Do they think they still need to hike rates? I'm sure they're going to say inflation's still high. I'm sure they're going to say, you know, the job market, the consumer's resilient, the economy's resilient, um, but inflation's still too high. So they have good basis for uh, raising rates. Uh, so now let's look at what what does the market think in terms of uh, whether the Fed's going to hike in the next couple meetings. So we'll use the Fed rate monitoring tool and also the CME FedWatch tool. We have a couple videos on our Beach Bum Trading YouTube channel um, that you can find uh, that explain in more detail about how to use these tools to determine the probabilities of Fed interest rate hikes. And you can find links to those tools anytime under the reference links in the links section on our homepage. Our homepage is beachbumtrading.com. So as I mentioned, you can find links to all our social media sites and invite to our Discord, our Reddit community, our Facebook group, etc., and all our social media profiles. So you can ask, contact us to ask us any questions. And then again, under the reference link section, you can find links to the CME and also the Fed rate monitoring tool. So again, you can look at these as the economic data comes out. Uh, these probabilities, you know, oscillate uh, as the market digests the economic data and then adjusts the probability. So here's the, the Fed Fed rate monitoring tool. We see we're going to get the decision November 1st at 2. So it's got a countdown clock. And you can see for November, the probability is, you know, almost 100%, 98% that they're going to do nothing. They're going to hold where they are. So the market thinks they're going to hold. And I think uh, that it will be uh, interpreted as a treat um, if they do hike in uh on this meeting, I think the market will react uh, very negatively because uh, the expectation is very strongly that they're going to do nothing. So again, the, the trick would be if they hike, the treat would be if they hold. And I think we'll get a rally, you know, maybe a short term, short lived rally. Uh, but if they do hold as expected, I think we'll get a short term rally, you know, Wednesday uh, through the end of the week uh, if they if they hold. Now for the December meeting, the next meeting is December 13th. Again, the probability is, you know, almost 80% they're going to hold, 20% they're going to hike. So again, the market is, you know, believing as uh, currently believing that they're not going to hike this year. Then we see January, there's about a 60-30, so 60-70% hold. Uh, so it's about 70, 30, 30% 30 of 25 basis point hike and a very small uh, percentage of a cut versus a, a 50 basis point hold or hike. So again, the market believes the Fed's going to hold at least through the beginning of next year. Uh, if they do hike in the next two meetings, again, I think the market's going to react uh, very negatively to either of those Um uh, I, again, I, I think the Fed has a basis, given the high inflation, um, to hike another at least 25 basis points, as they had previously indicated. Um, but again, they may explain that the surge in bond yields is essentially a proxy for uh, an interest rate hike, has tightened financial conditions, and therefore they, they don't need to raise the interest rates at this time. I'm sure they're going to say they're you know going to continue to be data dependent and do what they need to do to get inflation down to their 2% target. I, I, again, that's my opinion. Again, none of this is financial advice. We're not financial advisors. Uh, but again, that's that's kind of what I expect to hear and I ex expect them to do. I think, uh, again, with the surge in bond yields and the um, 
the the decline in the markets, et cetera, and some of the other global instability. I, I think they will hold in this meeting. I don't think they'll hike uh, in November, and then they'll say they're going to be data dependent and see what happens uh, in December. So we'll also look at the CME FedWatch tool, another tool to look at the probabilities of a hike. And I agree the Ricky Khan, as I mentioned, I think um, it's very important to listen to what Powell says um, as to, you know, do they need to do further action um, in the future? I, again, I believe they're going to say they're going to be data dependent. Uh, they're going to say inflation is still too high. They're going to stick to their 2% target, um, et cetera. So uh, they're going to say the job market's resilient. Um, and the economy is resilient. So again, they have a good basis for uh, raising rates a little bit more. Uh, but again, they might say the surge in bond yields and, and uh, weakness in the bond market is essentially a proxy for a, a rate hike. So again, my, my opinion. So again, here's the CME FedWatch tool, very similar. Again, we have a video on how to use this tool in more detail. A lot of information you can see in this tool, but we can see the November, the probability they have for November hold is 99%, you know, virtually no chance that the Fed's going to hike in uh, November. Let me zoom this out a little bit. Here we go. So we can look at uh, December as well. So again, 80-20, 80% 80 hold, 20% 20 25 basis point hike. So again, we'll see how that shifts after Powell's comments. If again, if he says they still need to do more, uh, the probability of a December hike might increase. And then January, again, about a 70-30, 71% hold, 26% hike. So again, you know, all indications of you know, the tools that we have available currently uh, say the Fed's going to hold interest rates at 5.5 through the end of this year uh, and to early next year. So again, the market believes the Fed's going to hold any indication that they might hike again this year, I think would be a trick on the market. And I think we'll get a very negative reaction if there's any indication that they're going to hike. Uh, either this month or next month. Very quickly, um, some other strategies that you can listen to, uh, take advantage of uh, to make money trading through November and the rest of this year. Got a couple bonus videos, probably release those this week, a couple short videos on how, how the markets perform in November, best performing sectors and industries in November, and then also how to make money trading in the fall. So you can listen to those videos now via the links in our notes. The content of this video was produced by Beach Bum Trading. We hope you will choose to also join us in the Beach Bum Trading community and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Visit us at our homepage at beachbumtrading.com, the bum without the U. Similarly on Twitter, Beach Bum Trading, Bum Without the U. On Facebook and in our Beach Bum Trading Facebook group. Please follow us on Pinterest and on Instagram. All of the links to our social media sites will be included in the description box below. And we hope you will choose to subscribe to our Beach Bum Trading YouTube channel and follow us on social media. Thank you. We also cordially want to invite you to our new Beach Bum Trading Community Discord server where we can have discussions on all topics related to trading, success in trading, investing, etc. You can see uh, alerts when we make trades, changes to our watch list, etc. So again, please join us in the new Beach Bum Trading Community Discord server. You should be able to find a link in the description box below. You can also find a link in the social media category 
on our web page, beachbumtrading.com, without the bum without the U, and also in the link section on the about page of our YouTube channel, etc. So again, we look forward to seeing you in the Beach Bump Trading Community Discord server soon. Wave and say hello. Beach Bump Trading also now has a site on Patreon. If you are willing and able to help support our efforts to uh, produce all the content and help you achieve the financial freedom you want and deserve to be able to leave, live the Beach Bump lifestyle or any other kind of lifestyle you would like and you're willing and able to help support our efforts in these regards uh, we hope you'll choose to visit our patreon page uh, you can get access to our new uh, beast bump trading community discord server which is currently under construction but you will get access to the discord server by supporting us through patreon again this is all currently under construction, but you can see we just have the default uh, levels, membership levels, but again, each level allows support, uh, allows access to our Discord. Um, we're also posting our trade, um, trade positions initially in our Discord, and again, we greatly appreciate uh, any support that you're willing and able to provide. So, thank you for your consideration. Another way that you can help support Beach Bum Trading in being able to produce frequent quality content for you for free on YouTube, etc., is in addition to subscribing to our Beach Bum Trading channel, hitting the like button on our videos, and hitting the notify so you're alerted when we release further videos. You can also choose to support, show your support for Beach Bump Trading with a super thanks, which you can find below this video. If you hit the heart with the dollar sign, the super thanks, again, you can financially support Beach Bump Trading in whatever amount that you wish. And we greatly appreciate your support. And that will help us, again, be able to produce frequent quality content that we can provide for you and all your fellow Beach Bum traders around the world for free on YouTube. So again, we greatly appreciate all of your support and thank you very much. Thank you again for watching our video. We hope that you liked it. If so, please smash the like button, give us a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing to our Beach Bum Trading YouTube channel. Please share this video with your fellow traders and friends. And please give us your feedback and any recommendations for improvement in the comments section below. And let us know what else we can do to help you in your trading career. Thank you again. Good luck and have a great trading day. If you like this video, we hope you will choose to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the box in the upper left hand corner. You can watch another video like this by clicking on the box in the lower right hand corner. And we have a whole playlist of videos like this that you can access via the box in the upper right hand corner. Our latest video is available in the box in the lower left hand corner. We hope you like this and have a great day.